What's up everyone? My name is Gaming Guy Gaming and welcome to a tutorial on the Compact Quartz House. In this tutorial I'll be going over how to build this house and I'll split it into two sections. One will be the external where we look at how to build the actual house and one will be the internal which is what the house is going to be filled with. Okay, so the first things you are going to need are blocks of quartz, pillar quartz blocks, cheesewood quartz blocks, quartz slabs, stacia logs, birch doors, glass panes, iron bars, sea lanterns, and lanterns. This is best to make in creative mode because it requires a lot of quartz, but you can actually make it in survival mode if you use um, a few stacks. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your stacia logs and make a 7x7 seven seven square out of them, leaving a space in the middle of the doorway. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, space for the doorway. off the last two above the doorway. <coughs> so next for the flooring, I like to do what I call the cross weave quartz strategy, which I will actually do a video on that later. Basically it's going to look like a wicker basket almost sort of. So we start with the cheesewood quartz blocks placed about a block from each other and then we weave in the pillar quartz blocks on the floor, like this. Make sure that it's never more than three, because if it's more than three, then you've done it wrong. Um, by three, I mean like how long each row of pillar quartz blocks are. And then just put one facing outward <coughs> at the doorway. Then you can place your door. Next, you're going to want to take your blocks of quartz and starting on this corner, make a wall all the way up um, with a one gap in between and just go all the way around the house to the other corner of the front of the house. Okay, once you've done this, you can start with these slabs. And how the slabs are going to work is um, you're going to go to each corner and just a slab above the ground, you're going to start placing them, and a slab, a slab between each um, one, up to the top quartz block. And you do this for all four corners. The next, what you're going to want to do is take a single block of quartz and put it right in the middle between the two walls of each side of the house, making it like U uh, for every side besides for the front. Then you can take your slabs and put them in the middle, uh, just a slab above the first course block, right above with a slab in between, like these on the corners, and do that for each side. Now, for an alternating effect, you're going to want to put a slab, uh, for these two, you're going to want to put slabs on the ground, and then a slab after keep going all the way up to the top. Do not fill in this slab up here. Alright, so finally for the front of the house, we're going to want to do kind of what we did on the corners. We're going to want to do one out, uh, parallel to the corners as if continuing the line, and then on the third block up, you do two in, and on the fourth block, you also do two in. And then, it is up to you, you can either do nothing or place a quartz block right here to put the lantern. I honestly prefer not to. So next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the top, and you're going to want to put chiseled quartz blocks on each of the corners. And then connect them all with pillar quartz blocks into them. And then you're going to want to do it again for the inner Asasia circle. Alright. Then you're 
end here, what you're going to want to do is take your lantern and just put it right above the uh, door on this pillar block. Or, if you'd like to, you could always put the quartz here and put the lantern. But honestly, I feel like that just obstructs jumping space. Now on the inside, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this back corner and then go one to the right, place a slab. And this is going to be the start of the staircase. Then a block, then a block, slab, block, block, slab, block, block, slab, and then last one slab, and then block. This will be the final story. And then you can just fill the rest of this in with ports up to uh, only two blocks here and I usually leave this space open because it makes the glass panes here feel a little um, a little more unique and it provides for an easy way down if you don't want to go all the way down the stairs. Okay, so for the second story, what you're going to want to do is on this corner right here where the stairs come up, you're going to want to put five blocks of glass panes in each direction. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then give that uh, two more blocks up to make a total of three blocks high. And this should provide a nice viewing window. So try to make this side of the house, or the the right side of the front point towards like the sunset or an ocean or whatever. And after that, you're going to make the rest of the walls a sacia, except for this corner over here, but I'll talk about it when I get to that. And three blocks high. Alright, for this corner, this is where the beds are going to go. So I like to make this out of quartz uh, two blocks high so it depends whether you're going to do you can do double beds right here if you're if you have a friend in your house or you can do one bed here and a chest I personally prefer the uh, bed in the chest so I'm going to do that and in that case I like uh, you put the acacia there and then just a single line of acacia above that and then after all that, just do a whole line of quartz around the entire build. And next, you're just going to want to put an inner ring of uh, quartz slabs up here. And then alternate back to the block of quartz up for the second part of the roof. Part, back to court slabs and for the last block piece of, or cheese of quartz block and as for lighting on the bottom floor you should put a sea lantern and on the top floor if there's not enough natural daylight put a metal bar and Five sea lanterns in there, plus four like this. And then the last thing for the inside is to put glass panes all the way around like that. And just for just for one final touch, port slab right there, which will come in handy with the internal design later. All right. So this is the finished exterior build. From here you can design the interior however you want, but I'll give you my take on what I believe is the best way to design it. Um, the interior. So for the interior design, you're going to need, if you want to do it the way I like to do it, a white bed, painting, bookshelves, barrels, crafting table, furnace, blast furnace, smoker, anvil, a brewing stand, a cauldron, jukebox, a lectern, a flower pot, and I prefer an azure bluette, but you can go with any flower that you want to. So for the downstairs, 
the first thing to do is to put the uh, furnaces down, the crafting table, which actually fit perfectly in this little crevice. So you do furnace, blast furnace, and smoker, or you can do smoker, blast furnace, furnace, or I just prefer smoker, furnace, blast furnace, and then crafting table right up there. As for over here, I like to do an entire Sometimes you have to give yourself a little bit of leverage to put the barrels up. Or, um, as a precaution, you could just break up here and then put the barrels up. And then you have the bookshelf going over like this. And then I actually prefer a barrel down like that. Now next, you can put the Azure Bluette, goes perfectly on this little stand over here that we made. Lectern right here. Nice picture right there. I prefer the... There we go. And you can put a picture on the stairs. Honestly, I don't really like that, but hey, it's always a possibility. And here's the downstairs completed. As for the upstairs, I will put a bed right here. And actually this corner comes in handy. You can put a jukebox, anvil, a brewing stand, and a cauldron. Or you could do a brewing stand a brewing stand up here, and an anvil like this down here. And then for this corner, put you can uh, put two blocks of quartz, like that, and have barrels actually sticking out of the walls, like this, for a lot, ex a lot of extra storage space. Like that. Like that. And I put quartz in the middle, because if you put barrels there, you wouldn't be able to access them. There we go. And lastly, we just need a chest, and if you want to, you can always get an ender chest as well. Um, like that. Alright. And that does it for the tutorial on the Compact Quartz House. This house literally only takes up a 9x9 area, and you can mass produce it if you have enough materials. There is actually a cheaper version of this, which replaces the acacia for oak planks and the quartz for cobblestone but honestly i don't think it looks as good but anyway uh thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and i'll see you in the next video bye